Along with all of the changes that Google has been introducing to the way that their match types works in Google Ads, the introduction of new types of campaigns like Performance Max, and the introduction of the new Google Ads dashboard and how that looks and how you interact with the Google Ads dashboard, Google is also very, very quickly rolling out extra changes to its automatically created assets or what it likes to call ACAs. Now ACAs aren't new because Google did start to roll these out more and more last year and essentially what ACAs or automatically created assets do, as the name suggests, it automatically creates headlines and descriptions and even ad extensions like your site links or your call out extensions and Google automatically creates these from two core sources and that is the ad copies so the headlines and the descriptions that you've already provided within your Google ad search campaign and also from the content that's on your landing page where you target your different search ads too. So automatically created assets aren't new, but they are changing. And the way that they are changing is that now Google will also update and create those assets. So your headlines and your descriptions for your ads, not only from the different ad copy that you've already provided Google and also from the landing pages, but it also will grab it from a third source and that is the user's actual search inquiry. So it'll look to take in the intent or the meaning of that search inquiry and then also add that into the ad headline and copy. Let's take a look at this and look at the example which Google gave in its keynote presentation earlier this year. So the section we wanna look at is when we dive into the page and Google is talking about its automatically created assets. And what we wanna point out here is that where it says soon we'll be supercharging ACA with generative AI to more effectively create and adapt search tools based on the context of a query. And what you can see here is that because this user search for skincare for dry sensitive skin, it would actually update that ad to include soothe your dry sensitive skin. Once again, using the language that the user has used and inserting that into your ad headline. So while the supercharging of ACAs may be helpful to many, many businesses, there are some things that you need to be aware of. So what I wanted to take you through right now is very quickly the pros and cons of these AI supercharged ACAs. So first, so let's start with the pros of these ACAs. Now, the first thing is, is that it is very, very quick and easy to use, and it will save time writing ad copy. And the reason why it's gonna be quick and easy to use is because Google will also be introducing this when you're actually creating the ads for your search campaigns, in that eventually there will be an enhanced chat feature where you can actually have a discussion, give Google some extra information, and it'll help you write out this ad copy. And then obviously, the other side of this is that it will be happening without you even knowing because Google will update your headlines dependent on the user's search. So this leads us to the second pro in that it will help to increase your click-through ratio. And the reason for that is because Google will automatically change the headlines in order to better match the user's search query and also the intent of that search query. So the example that we looked at before, if someone was looking for skincare to especially soothe their dry skin, Google will automatically add in that extra layer of making sure your product sound more appealing to the user because they specifically soothe your dry skin. Where if the user was looking for something like skin blemishes, it would update the headline to be more targeted to that individual search term. So they're the two really, really positives or pros of these AI supercharged ACAs, but that then leads us to the downside. And the major downside is obviously the reverse of the upside in that you lose ad copy control. So this is something that's really, really important to note. If you're running ads for an industry which has high regulation and you need to be able to control your ad copy, these ACAs are not for you and they're something that you would have to avoid. Otherwise, you would very, very quickly find yourself in trouble with the regulated authorities in your particular business niche. And the other major drawback that I do see is that you can't manually split test. And what this means is that you would then need a higher spending account to ensure Google has enough data. Now, we don't know the exact limits on that, but what we do know is that we do know that for Google to be able to to properly complete split testing, that still needs around about two to 3,000 impressions in a 30-day period, but that's for a collection of headlines. So if you're providing 15 headlines and four descriptions to Google, you can just start to calculate how many different combinations would be there and the level of impressions that Google would need to be able to test all of those different headlines and combinations that you're providing to Google. So one of the downsides is, is that if you do have a lower spending account, and you know, as a rough guide to get the full effect of this, you would need to be generating 100 
hundreds of clicks in an individual day. So you'd need to be have a campaign which has enough budget to generate two, three, or maybe even 500 clicks a day. And if you're not reaching that level, my recommendation is to still carry out manual split testing. So that would be a major drawback in that if you do have a smaller spending account, ACAs may not be the best tool for you. Now it's important to note that ACAs on search campaigns are an opt-in, but very soon in the future, this may switch to an opt-out. So what I do recommend is that you need to go to the campaign and then the settings section of your campaign. And then when you're in that settings screen, you'll see a title called automatically created assets. And that's where you have the option to either opt in or opt out. So what you would wanna make sure is that you just wanna make sure that you're going into the campaign settings and either selecting ACAs on or off. And finally, it's important to note that this is not where the AI integration into Google Ads is finishing. In fact, this is only the start. And AI and Google Ads is a relationship that is gonna grow more and more over the coming months and years. And in that screenshot, I mentioned how Google will actually very soon be introducing this AI assistance into where you're actually actually creating new search campaigns. And the way that Google is explaining this is that it'll be able to use your individual product and business knowledge and combine that with Google's AI learning. And this will be used to not only target the best keywords, but also to create the best ad copies. And also at this keynote, Google released how this would look. So let's take a look at this right now. Where you can see in here, Google ads in the chat feature that you give Google the extra information about your business, you explain what you're trying to target and the different benefits you've business and then from there Google will go through and create the headlines and the descriptions for your campaign. Now these are just some of the initiatives that I talk about in an extended session that I gave in my paid community which was called the future of Google ads and your business. And what this session was designed to do was to give you the most information possible so that you can make sure that your Google ads campaigns are well set up so that you can leverage and get the best results with the new changes that are fast coming into Google Ads over the coming weeks and months. And if you'd like to get free access to that extended training, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young, I'm for Define Digital Academy and on your 15,000 hour. And remember, follow that link in the description so I can see you in that extra training session very, very soon. But if you'd like to stay on YouTube and you'd like to learn more about how Google Ads is gonna be interacting greater with AI, why don't you go through and watch this video right here. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.